Hey guys, my name is Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com. Today I got some really good tips for you on how to get your brand new website indexed by Google because it's so, so important. But what I normally talk about is social media marketing. So if you're just getting started with business on the internet and this whole social media thing has uh, maybe got you a little feeling overwhelmed and confused and you just want to know where to start to make it easy and get some fast results, head on over to buildingsocialproof.com and I'll show you a very simple social media uh, strategy you can get started with very quickly and have it figured out in just seven days. And the best part is it only takes a couple minutes a day. You're not gonna be doing social media all the friggin' time and feeling stressed out about it. So. Um, Google and how to get your site indexed by them. Well, how I came across this is I found an article by a guy named Neil Patel. Now, Neil Patel is very, very good at SEO. I have done SEO many years back in a previous life. I've had websites that have gotten two, three, four, five thousand visitors a day just from SEO. Um, I've done things to trick Google into making my sites rank higher than they should. And that's not such a good idea, but I've, I've done it in a previous life. Um, but the thing is, is SEO, even if you're doing social, SEO is friggin' huge. And it's huge because after you post your content on social, the search engines will come literally for years bringing you free traffic. There's nothing else on the internet, guys, like SEO. Free traffic just shows up at your doorstep day after day without you doing anything. You can be on vacation. You can be not even thinking of your website. And this traffic shows up for stuff you've done three, four, five, six, ten years ago. It's friggin' amazing only free lunch on the internet. So let's get into these. Uh, there's there's six steps that uh, Neil lays out. Um, I wanna go through those and give you a little bit of uh, my backstory and, and things I've figured out uh, as I've gone through this. And just so you know, guys, the buildingsocialproof.com site, I started it about a year ago. And um, that after about a year of doing this type of stuff, uh, it's up to about 100 people a day from Google. So it's 3,000 free visitors a month. I wouldn't have even had if I didn't do this. So let's go through these tips from Neil. I'm gonna talk about them and I'm gonna sprinkle in my own stuff of things I've done and I've seen work. Now, the first thing Neil says is you have to understand how search engines work. Well, you can go nuts with understanding how search engines work. The fact is, is nobody really, really knows because Google doesn't tell anybody how search engines work. But what we do know is a couple things. We knew when people go into search engines and type in something like content marketing strategy, Pages that talk about content marketing strategy uh, are more likely to show up at the top of Google. Now, how does Google know if two pages are equal, which one should get shown higher? Well, it looks at what other people around the internet are saying about this person. And what does Google mean by saying? It counts links. So if another site thinks you have a great article about content marketing strategy, they link to you. And Google counts up the links and it treats links like votes. So the more links you get to your page, the higher it moves up in the search engines. I mean, that's a very, very basic idea of it, but that's pretty much how it works. Now, uh, if a page is more, authorita more authoritative and um, they're just a more, uh, more authoritative site on the subject, those links actually count more. So it can get a little complicated, but what you need to know is you need to have your uh, site target a keyword. So you have to know when people type something into Google, what that word is. So your site shows up at the top. You have to know what that is and how to find good ones that are not very competitive. And then you also have to know that you need people linking to your site and it's the links themselves that drive you up higher in Google and get you some of that free Google traffic love. So it's basically how the search engines work. Now, the next thing Neil says is you need to add a blog. Pretty basic, guys, but some stats on blogs. You know, blogs get uh, 300 or 430% more page views. They get uh, more links and they basically get more visitors. So having a WordPress blog on your site is critical, 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 guys, for SEO. Now, the next thing you need to do after you've added that blog is you need to have a basic content marketing strategy. I've talked about this in the past. I'll give you an example, guys. 
This video I'm making right now, I'm going to turn it into a blog post and post it on my blog. And I do that a couple times a week. That's what you need to do is have a strategy for yourself of things you're going to write about on your blog. And don't just write about anything. Go into Google and type in things that people would search for on your topic. So I'll type in content marketing strategy as an example. Then I'll scroll down to the bottom of the Google page and I'll look at examples like that that Google suggests and that'll be the topic for my blog post, my videos, that sort of thing. I think you get it. Now, number four is uh, pretty simple. You want to create a site map and submit that to Google. Well, you don't have to build a site map. You can get a WordPress plugin called WordPress Site Map and just put that on WordPress. It'll build you a site map and then just go to Google Webmaster Tools and you could submit that site map to Google. Google now knows your site exists and it's looking at it and that's how you get it indexed very, very quickly. Now, another little hack that Neil has is to add Google Analytics to your website and blog. Well, why would you do that? Because Google Analytics is owned by Google and they see that you're using the analytics and it kind of tips them off that you're out there. They just know that you're out there now and that'll send the lovely Google bot over to come take a look at your website. Now, the last thing he talks about is um, that you need to link from social media. Thanks, Paul. I think it's a good point. You need to link from social media, guys, and that's where the whole social media SEO thing comes in now. As you're building up your social media profiles and you're doing things like tweeting out your blog posts, uh, linking to your website, Google picks up on those social cues. So they also know about links, but they want to see that real people like your stuff. And as they see that, they're going to send more people to your blog. So what do you want to do? Set up a blog, create a content marketing strategy, build your social and link to it that way. Do that, guys. That'll get you good results. Now, some tips I've done when you're writing these blog posts, I want you to get a plugin called Yoast SEO. Just get that plugin. And what it does is it guides you in how to make your article perfectly formatted for SEO. So it'll tell you things like to add pictures or to include the focus keyword a couple more times and the bold things and to do all these little things you would never think of. And at the end, when your page scores green, you know you've got it figured out to do well in Google. So that's another tip for you guys. So I'm going to have some more stuff for you again soon, but as far as Google and getting into it, do this stuff and it'll totally work for you. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.